Good morning children. In the last class we learnt how plants get sunlight, air and water. Right? So today what we are going to learn is we are going to learn about two things today. That is plants that do not make food. We are going to learn about those plants as well as plants that feed like animals. So these two topics we are going to cover today. So let us start with an activity today. You all can take page number 28 children. The presence of starch can be tested by doing the iodine test. So here what we need to do? We have to test the presence of starch through iodine. Now iodine reacts with starch and produces a bluish black color. So you can see here in the picture also what you need to do today is you have to take some cooked rice in a container okay add few drops of what dilute iodine solution to the rice okay you take few cooked rice few in a container and you have to mix it with what few drops of dilute iodine solution in it so what what do you observe and does it turn bluish black color so rice turns actually bluish black color why because it has starch in it okay so this test this iodine test you have to do it as an activity at home do it and send us the picture or as a video you can take it or a picture of it write your observation whatever you have noted in that send us to our microsoft teams in the assignment you can upload that okay so do this activity this is your second activity last class we discussed about one activity right about that balsam flower in the ways we have to fill the water and all the same way you can follow these steps and do it as well as this observation also you do it this is an iodine test so this activity two activities has to be done and has to be sent to our teams so today we are going to learn about two types of plants that do not make food what are they one is dodder a total parasite the next one is what mistletoe a partial parasite so let's look into that in detail let's learn what is dodder a total parasite you can see here on the screen how the dodder looks always it grows on other plants so here dodder do not have chlorophyll in it so what they do not make their own food they totally depend on other plants you can see here these are dodder and that's grown on the top of the other plant they grow on other plant and use their food and water and also what they do such plants are called as total parasite they depend totally on other plant they cannot make their own food so what they what do they do they grow on other plants and they use their food and water to survive a total parasitic plants kill the plants on which it grows you know what happens as we saw in the last this picture this dodder what they do they survive and they kill the plant on which they grow okay now let's see the other type of plant which does not make its own food is like mistletoe mistletoe is a parasitic plant actually and it grows on trees such as mango and chiku okay and it looks like this these are the partial parasite so it has chlorophyll and it makes its own food but it depends still it depends on other plant for what for water as well as for other certain nutrients now such plants are called as what partial parasite because they have chlorophyll and they make their own food but still they depend on other plants why for water and certain nutrients so let us see the next topic that is name the plants that feed like animals have you seen such type of plants you might have in the forest and all we can find it and many of you might have seen it also and maybe knowing about it so we have two types of plants that feed like animals what are they they are pitcher plant as well as venus fly trap they both feed on insects that's why they are also known as insectivorous or carnivorous plants let us see each one of them in detail let's see the first one that's pitcher plant you can see on the screen here how does it look like it has a flap on the top inside it has a hole 
deep inside and it has a nectar inside the pitcher. It, it's a pot like structure. So the pitcher plant has a pitcher that means a pot like structure with nectar in it. So what it does the nectar in it attracts the insects and the in, when the insects enter the pitcher what happens by mistake they have the hair like structure inside the pitcher. These hair like structure on being disturbed what they do they close the flap the opening of the top and what happens the insect inside gets trapped inside the pitcher so they cannot come out and now next is Venus fly trap. Let us see what it is. The Venus fly trap looks like that. See how it is. It has scales on the edges. Now the leaves of Venus fly trap have spine like structure around them. Can you see here? It has spine like structure and when an insect in enters in it, it closes and the insects get trapped inside. So it cannot come out. See here, one insect gets into it closes. Okay, and such way the insects get trapped inside and that is the reason why we call these two plants feed like animals. Okay, so what do we have learned today's class? We learned the plants that do not make food. What are they? Can we recall it? They are dodder. The second one is mistletoe, right? Dodder is a total parasite and mistletoe is a partial parasite. The next what we learned is that those plants which do feed like animals. They are one is pitcher plant, other is what Venus fly trap. Okay children, so I hope you have understood. So next class we will continue with the next topic. Till then, bye.